This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And you see the tools that I'm going to use to put a wreath shape, hopefully, <laughs> on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And um, I think I'm just going to put a layer of white paint in the bottom of this container and then continue my way across with colors that I like as long as they'll come out, which is <laughs> kind of anticlimactic at, that, at this point. Come out. Please come out. And I'll explain my plan more as I go along. I'm going to grab a little bit of Prussian blue. Am I? <laughs> uh, every time I go in the house to load up a movie when it's hot and I leave my paints out here, I get the same re result. And I'm not going to move them all back inside <laughs> just because I'm uploading a movie. That was such a small lump. That was very unsatisfying. Oh, darn. Okay. So the whole point of these colors right here floating on this white is so that I can scoop them up in that little scoop you can see there. And I want really bright colors. <laughs> yes, I got one. And I haven't done this method before, but I... I was kind of hoping it was going to be a shortcut, but it's not feeling like a very shortcut to me right now. And I think I'm just going to keep putting more colors in between and hope for the best, even though they're not necessarily exactly what I want. Because this will just be very different. I want to put gold in between every one of those. I can't tell you. So this is a really weird method and I'm excited to try it, even if I seem a little trepidatious. And that's because I'm going to, I expect to scoop up the colors, and put them down hopefully in a circle, right after I cover my canvas. I need that to be level. So I'm going to use something behind me to level it out somewhat. Well, okay, sera, sera. All right, so I need to figure out right now what size my circle is going to be and if it's somewhat centered. And it's going to be a whole lot bigger than that, I think. In the meantime, let me introduce you to, if you're new, my OXO omelet turning spatula, available on the Amazon link below Show More. I'm the one that discovered this at my local gourmet grocery store. Actually, I think it was more like a glorified farm stand, because its name was Pharmacy with an F, which was kind of cute. But uh, they did not stay in business, because things in Spring Hill are a little iffy. Lots of people with no money here. <laughs> Lots of money, people with money enough to uh, to live, and that's about it. I, I lay claim that this is where artists go to die. It's not a funny joke, though. I don't want to be one. So if you live in Spring Hill, forgive me. I love you, too. And come take a class, would you? Because <laughs> there's nothing much else to do here, really. I mean, you could go up to Wikiwachi, but that's not, not in Spring Hill. All right, so do I dare put that cup right down into the canvas and work around it. I think I kind of do, because that way I'll have a much better idea of where my center is. And it's wet paint, so I'll probably be okay. I'm trying to check myself. So far, I'm not feeling like overly confident about that, but that's not that's not a huge surprise at the moment. All right, so I have some other colors, and I may use them, but right now I'm going to try my my new invention. You know what? Right now I'm going to try that new color that I want in there, and maybe twice, because I see that the uh, the neon pink has already gone away. So how do I do this and show you guys at the same time? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right through the middle. And I'm going to 
try. Wait. That was almost a mistake. Maybe it was a mistake. We got some hellacious wind here today. My stripes just went out the window. I'm just going to do whatever it takes to get some paint down. I get some beautiful paint in that container and I'll probably add some some enamel paint to it and uh, call it good. So what do I see that I want? I want that out of my way. My temptation is to take the colors that I've got right now and add some blue. I'm going to let that Green, and I'm going to put something over that to keep the colors sound. They're drying out too fast, which they probably won't. I said I wanted some blue, and blue is what I'm going to grab. I wanted some gold too, so I may do that as well. But I can always add it afterwards. All right, so what I what I did in the past, I'm going to do again right now. <laughs> you can't tell I'm nervous, can you? I want to do that with the basting brush because I know it would be easier than this. But I also know that the first time I made one of these wreaths, this is how I did it. So I'm going to try and get as close as I can to re remembering how to repeat that experiment. Maybe could have used a little more white paint on my background. That's stuff blowing on the wind, which is always the danger of being outdoors. going to be people mowing their lawns in Florida year-round, pretty much, even during the winter. Now, if I don't like how this is going, I can strictly add more colors and pull them out in the next row down. I know I wanted a much curvier spike being pulled out, but this is what I've got so far. Now if I put the bamboo skewer in and let it slide a little bit to its left and pull it, I get a slightly different effect. Basically what I'm craving is a whole bunch more pink. And I never used to be a pink person. <laughs> I am now. going around and around, trying to evenly distribute the paint that I'm pulling out and decide what comes next. I'm trying to remember how I did this a very long time ago. Just being as patient as I can possibly manage. using what's right in front of me. Trying to notice how wide my colors are spreading. And think about the future, as in what color I might actually like to add. And it's looking a lot like purple is missing. There's some, but not nearly enough. And if you know me, you know I'm a big fan of purple. So I've gotten almost as far as I think I can go with what I've used. I 
And I can dip that skewer right in. I'm going to lift that up. That's cool. That worked. And do what I did originally, which is to take the inner circle of white. And spiral it out. So if I want to add something else, now's the time to think about that. And I think rather than take a chance, because I want some gold, I'm going to put it into a small cup, find myself a skewer with the fattest buildup of paint on its butt end. I need a lot more gold than that. <laughs> That's all there is to that. I will put it in something else after this. I think I'm going to go out a little ways. I'm going to try and do it equidistantly for now without dripping. And who knows, I might just leave them right where they're at. So I'm just doing 6 and 12, 9 and 3, and then splitting the difference. And then continuing to split the difference. That was the right amount of paint to put in my little cup. These little cups come from Michael's in the party goods, or the entertaining section, or whatever you call it. So I'm tempted to uh, spiral that, but I think what I really want to do is pull it and get all of the things in my way that are stopping my turntable from moving. That looks anomalous right there. Not sure I'm the biggest fan of this skewer right now. I think what's really tempting to me is to take some of my white or black, or purple, or something. Or add a second <laughs> row of little spirals between the first. Because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link. Volume 1. Volume 2 is Unlimited Possibilities. Volume 1 is because I can. There, I like that. But um, right back to where I wanted to be with the uh, with the addition of a color. Which I probably should have put in a different cup because it's mixing very quickly with my gold. But I'm not sure I hate the effect, so. That's why I apply dots from side to side instead of right next to each other sometimes. It's a good way to start. I like that. Doesn't keep me from wanting pink though. So this time. <laughs> yeah, you knew it. This time I'm going to have to unplug a tip if I want something. It's so tempting to go. You know what? I have a different pink. Except for I'm halfway with this one unscrewed, so I'm going to follow through. One of these days, I'll get a studio assistant, <laughs> and somebody will screen all of my paint for me for a free lesson. You never know who that might be. That little yellow is distracting me. Now, if you can't do this with the bottle, you can do it with the skewer. Only I suggest not putting it in with the last color you used. 
and I am still in the middle of trying to decide what I really want to do. So I'm just going to keep doing whatever comes to me naturally. And I may be dragging it out, and I may not. But that's pretty nice. <laughs> I don't mind that a bit. I'm really tempted. I've got plenty of these little containers, and I'm going to grab another one and see how I feel about putting some more paint on there. Yes, I did that differently. <laughs> It was not really an intention, but I like that color a lot. And I like moving the dots out sequentially. Well, I'm not sure that word really applies. But I am having a pretty good time. It's not taking too long, which I kind of like <laughs> a lot. Well, I guess that's a relative statement, isn't it? I've got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, if I'm going to tell you anything, and to decide what else I'm going to do if I'm going to do anything. And. Uh, just seems like I might want to do something else. In the way of pulling things. But I might not. <laughs> I might just keep going until time runs out. So I do sell my artwork. I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I have Facebook groups for students and collectors. The first one is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery appreciation group, that's for students. Except the second one is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors, for fans and collectors. And uh, this is kind of simple and I kind of like it a lot. And the temptation is to go ahead and do more. All things blow around all around me. Because I've got the paint in my hand and it's hard to resist. I'm going to blow away. <laughs> Fortunately, my canopy is pretty strong. Good thing, too. I love you guys. There's 80,000 some out of you. Uh, subscriptions are doing kind of something strange, and uh, I really like this. It's, uh, it's not necessarily exactly like the other one, but it's pretty cool. It does make me want to add, an, add white to the pink and then see what happens after that. But maybe I'll just try something different. See if I like it. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to use the large end of the skewer. Please give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. It might help me someday. If you watch the videos longer, it definitely helps. If you're looking for more of what I do best, um, I have playlists, 11 genres, and then playlists, 10 playlists of 100, 100 in the first nine, and uh, whoops, <laughs> I went for the wrong one. So, this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying thanks for all the compliments and all the donations and there is a, uh, there is always a drawing once a month. On the end screens you can find it on the, on the video showing the exhibition.